Korea International Corporation Agency, KOICA, has reiterated its commitment towards enhancing e-government in Nigeria to boost its digital economy. The country director of the agency made the pledge in Abuja during a one-day government service portal stakeholders engagement workshop organized by Galaxy Backbone in collaboration with the Federal Ministry of Communications and Digital Economy. At Quaker, we view the GSP as a key example of digital governance of Nigeria in action. As such, I'm delighted that our partner, Galaxy Backbone, has been able to put this workshop together. I'm therefore confident that we will not only foster valuable discussions, but also set the stage for realizing the full objectives of the GSP. As we aim for the full ac activation of the GSP in the first half of 2025, I look forward to bringing together all the efforts for the service integration from all of us today. In closing, Koika remains open to collaborating with the Federal Ministry of Communication, Innovation and Digital Economy to ensure the government's policy drive for a better digital services to citizens and businesses. Professor Mohammed Abubakar, Managing Director and CEO of Nigeria's Galaxy Backbone, expressed gratitude to the South Korean government through the Korea Agency for their contributions to Nigeria's e-government development. It is indeed with joy and anticipation that we convene here today to advance an initiative that would have, that would have a profound impact on the way Nigerian citizens assess government services. Today's workshop marks the commencement of the service integration phase of the government service portal and symbolizes our transition from planning and development to actual onboarding of services from the MDAs that are presented here I think about 12 MDAs to be precise. Now the GSP, that's the short form for the government service portal, is a testament to the Nigerian government's commit commitment to transform public service delivery through power of technology. This portal developed in partnership with COICA will serve as a one-stop shop for citizens to access a wide range of services efficiently transparently and securely. As we commence this integration phase, it's essential that we recognize the pivotal role of the MDAs represented here today, each playing a critical role in ensuring that this platform is populated and kicks off with services that will make the most impact to our citizens. Your support is not just needed, it is vital for the success of this journey. Together, we will build a system that provides a seamless digital experience, empowers citizens, and sets a foundation for a fully digitized government ecosystem. Digital governance experts from Sangmyung University gave an overview of the project since its inception in 2020, noting that it is expected to be completed in 2026. Mr. Muhammad Jamal, the CEO of 3M Plus, and also the developer behind GSP, and also the developer behind Government Service Portal, highlighted the robust security measures implemented to protect sensitive data and ensure the integrity of the system. Um, it's a single window access to government services through a secure channel uh, that we all can trust and, and attest to. Um, the initial part of this project spans a 12 month uh, period. Uh, divided into four sections. The project itself is uh, a collaboration between FNCID and Koika with uh, technical support from Galaxy Backbone. Again, um, a 
objective of the GSP is to create a single access um, window to government digital services, um, enhance the user experiences for citizens, um, ensure data security and privacy, and to improve efficiency and reduce processing time. Farouk Yabu, Permanent Secretary, Federal Ministry of Communications and Digital Economy, reiterated the Nigerian government's commitment to integrating the services to improve accessibility and transparency. With this occasion today, uh, we are connecting the uh, internet digitalization of ministries, departments and agencies with the provisioning of an access portal where citizens can take advantage of the digitalization that has been done within government. Uh, as you are aware, many ministries are already digitized, but the digitization would have been ended up in their own ministries without a portal like this, where services that can be offered by government will be brought to bear. Now, what is new is our ability to consolidate and to make it easy for citizens to go to one single location and check for everything they want as against having to cram the uh, websites of the different MDAs. I want to assure both our partners, the Korean government, and indeed the various MDAs of ministries, commitments to ensuring that we use this platform as a means of improving service delivery to our citizens as envisioned by our Amiable President, His Excellency President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, with the support of our uh, vibrant minister, Dr. Bosin Tijani.